Tonight, I want to bring your attention to a new threat from China. China wants to create superhumans, people with extraordinary capabilities. The project is already on, and China is using the gene data of unborn children across the world to make this happen. I know it sounds like the plot of a movie, but this is happening for real. It is not science fiction. It is, in fact, a national security threat to 52 countries who have already been compromised. Let me tell you how this works. A Chinese company is working in collaboration with the People's Liberation Army. That's the Chinese army. What do they do? They make prenatal test kits. These are kits used by pregnant women. Then the company, aided by the Chinese military, collects the data of these women. What for? To understand what kind of genes are being passed on to the child. It's called gene data harvesting. In other words, China is harvesting information about the health of babies. How many are we talking about here? More than 8 million women could be affected. 8 million. Not just in China, but across the world. 52 countries to be precise. Pregnant women in 52 countries across the world have potentially fallen victim to this Chinese operation. So what will China do with all this information? Their gene data. Use it to infuse superhuman capabilities into the Chinese military. You could say they want genetically modified soldiers. It's as scary as it sounds. The last time they tried to modify a virus, the world got a pandemic. Imagine them trying to modify humans, create superhuman variants. It's insane. It's also a threat that must be spelt out. So here's what we know. Our story begins with China's BGI group. BGI stands for the Beijing Genomics Institute. It's a Chinese genome sequencing company. A genome is basically a person's genes. And this company, BGI, is in the business of studying genes. The BGI group, along with the Chinese military, developed a prenatal test. Pregnant women are given these tests for information about the health of the mother and the baby. It's a fairly common practice. It helps in detecting abnormalities in a fetus, like the Down syndrome, for example. Now, this particular test, developed by China's BGI group and its military, is called NIFTY. It was launched in 2013. Today, NIFTY is one of the top-selling prenatal tests in the world, and this is where the problem begins. When a woman takes the NIFTY prenatal test, her gene data goes to the BGI group. They actively collect it. Later, this very same data is shared with the Chinese government, more specifically with some institutes run by the government of China. Like I said, more than 8 million women have taken this test worldwide. The BGI group is said to have sent leftover blood samples to its lab in Hong Kong, and the genetic data from clients is then being used for population research. The data is being stored at the China National Gene Bank in Shenzhen. This gene bank is funded by the government of China. It is run by the BGI group. This test is sold in 52 countries. India is one of them. It's not yet clear if data from India has made its way back to China. But this is what Reuters found. Genetic data of more than 500 women from Europe and Asia ended up at the Chinese gene bank. We cannot confirm if there's more. But whatever the number, is this even legal? Apparently it is. Reports say the company, the BGI group, got all the women to sign consent forms before they took the test. It's a fact that most people do not read the fine print, and it's also unfortunate. Because according to the test's privacy policy, the company can share all the data they collect with the Chinese government. Here's what it says. The BGI group can share data if it is, quote-unquote, directly relevant to the national security or national defense security in China. How is the gene data of unborn babies in other countries relevant to the national defense security of China? It defies logic. But this is the pretext that the company uses. Chinese national security. And this is how the Chinese state gets access to genetic data of babies across the world. Mothers who have taken the test are now concerned. One of them is Emilia, a 32-year-old citizen of Poland who took the BGI prenatal test. Emilia says she had read through the company's forms before agreeing to the terms but she had no knowledge that the Chinese state has the power to access her child's data. I have to admit that the news that my data could have been taken over by the Chinese government is shocking for me. After reading the form, I had the impression that I was well informed about the test and how the data would be used. I would like to know if they are aware that these samples are probably being sent further on and why they aren't telling their patients about this.
This could be a very important matter when choosing a test. For me, it would be. Clearly, this test needs to come with a bigger, more specific warning label. And if you're scared about the prospect of the Chinese state gathering data about unborn children, wait till you hear what China wants to do with this data. Having a massive bank of gene data gives China a clear strategic edge. It can help Beijing in a variety of ways. With this data, they can develop better pharmaceuticals. But that's not the end game. They're looking to create better soldiers, genetically enhanced soldiers, or human variants. Super soldiers are no longer just the stuff of science fiction. With rapid progress being made in gene editing, superhumans could soon become a reality. Gene editing is a method by which scientists can change the DNA of living beings, plants, bacteria, animals. In humans, they could change physical traits and cure diseases. At least that's the promise that's being made. But we've seen how gene editing can also go horribly wrong. The BGI group says it is only working for the greater good. And for that, they're working with the Chinese military. It doesn't add up. But here's what they've done. They've conducted genetic research to combat hearing loss and altitude sickness in soldiers. The BGI group has published studies with the third military medical university in China. It talks about drugs that could protect Han Chinese from brain injury at high altitudes. Interestingly, the study makes a reference to Chinese soldiers stationed in Tibet and Xinjiang, the same regions that share a border with India and have witnessed clashes between the Chinese and Indian soldiers in the ongoing border standoff. Now, China wants to deploy super soldiers at the border, troops laced with edited genes, using research from gene data surreptitiously collected from across the world. By all indications, China is far from achieving this anytime soon. But the fact that they're, they're trying to do this, the fact that they're working in this direction, the fact that they're collecting data from 52 countries should be enough to raise the alarm. Here's something that can be done immediately. India set an example for the world last year by banning more than 100 Chinese apps over security concerns. India should consider the same measure for companies that harvest gene data. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.